simple harmonic oscillator has an equation of motion in meters, right? So this should say meters right there, of 2.75 sine 3.17t. What is the amplitude? What's the angular velocity? Right? Well, the formula in the data pack, right, is that x equals x naught sine omega t, right? So this must be x naught, and then this must be omega, right? So a amplitude is uh, 2.75 meters, b, right, and that's our x naught, right? Okay, b omega must be 3.17, okay, radians per second. Okay, that's omega, right? Uh, what is its position at 14.2 seconds? Well, that's easy. We're supposed to just plug in 14.2, right? So C. Now make sure you're in radians. You got to take your calculator and you got to put it in radians for this, right? Because this, these are just bald numbers that we're putting into sine. There's no sense that we're like dividing by 180 and turning it into degrees into radians, right? So your calculator must be in radians. Be in radians, right? So go second mode or mode and then go down to radians, hit enter, hit clear, right? So this is, that's the only hard part about this, right? So x is equal to 2.75 meters, right, times sine of 3.17 radians per second, right, times 14.2, uh, right? Da -da. Okay. So 2.75 times sine of parentheses, 3.17 times 14.2. Okay, and before I embarrass myself, I, mean, I am in radians, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, and I get 2.3599. 3599 meters, which, you know, 2.36 is close enough. Okay, so what is its maximum velocity? Well, V is plus or minus omega square root of x naught squared minus x squared is the formula, right? Maximum velocity, to get the maximum, you make this guy zero. Right, zero squared. Don't forget to square the zero, right? And so it ends up being omega x naught, right? Okay. So v naught is uh, omega x naught, right? Is equal to, our omega is 3.17, right? Radians per second. And then uh, x naught is uh, 2.75. And that's meters, right? So 3.17 times uh, 2.75. And I get 8.7175. And then it's meters per second, meters radians per second, right? Which is just meters per second. So with two sig figs, you'd have to say that, right? Then see if you can draw like a linear dot. It's a happy linear.